I can't see. What's happening? Ranger here. This is a few days after Christmas, and I'm going to put you on this, because this is how this works. This is the first time, guys, I've ever gone live. Hopefully, people come on and say hi. I brought it here. Ain't nobody coming on here. Well, it better be. This is, we're back. How do you know if people are going live? Will it, will it be a streamer and thread? It says we have one person in there and no likes. No likes? Come on, one person? Golly, man. Start doing that whole everybody. Everybody right. like us. So what we're doing, guys, today is we're going to create a shoot blocker on the Hustler. I am not paying $300 for... Yeah, I'm not paying $300 for something that's going to block this. So I can use it as a mulcher or when I'm around flower beds and stuff like that. So what Ranger and I did, we went and got some quarter. Uh, well, this is a quarter inch square tubing that we're going to cut down. And this will all make sense in a minute or two. Behind you. Behind me. Um, some angle iron. This is eight, oh no, that's a, uh, that's quarter inch angle. Angle iron. And. Plate's right there on top of your body. On top of the, right. oh. And this plate. Nice, fancy, anodized steel. And we're gonna do measurements, and the way this is gonna work is we're gonna use the factory existing spring. So we're gonna take this off. Matter of fact, we can now. Oh, because we got to take that apart anyways. Take faster existing spring. This right here, we're going to move it to the middle. We're going to use the square tubing to go right here and create a sleeve to run our welds on. Oh, Ranger's going to do the welding. And make a plate out here and straight down. And a plate here. And you're going to use this spring in the middle to create our tension. And then we're going to have a bar right here. It's going to go up, over, move it over and up. So you guys get to watch this. Hopefully you guys are watching. I don't know if you're not. Well, this is for the future events. So that's what we're doing. Now we're going to get measurements. We need to take this off, don't we? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's uh, see how bent that? Oh, I see how they did this now. It's kind of bad. Yeah, right here. And then we take that off. Then you rotate that and up and off. Right yeah. Oh. Learning something new. Who's commenting? I have no idea who's commenting. Uh, let me get my hand What's hand. up, people? Tools. We're gonna find some tools in this garage. Uh, yeah, I got plenty. The blondie. Impacts are your best friends. We need to. Uh, it's hard to see who's commenting on your phone, right? Uh, I don't know. I've never gone live. I don't even know if you're probably gonna see my ass crack. Oh, no, I didn't show that. Oh, that's hrg 316 blog guy problems yes it is true what's up rj impact toy oh no you're gonna have to ratchet it out oh, yeah. there's not enough room for that bolt right there it's okay i got a, another solution that problem. Oh. Kind of big tool watching us. That's to the impact. Where's, where's my other little tool box at? Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna have a believer. We got shit scattered, smothered, and covered. Yeah, <laughs> this is what happens when uh, you work on stuff constantly, like, this you is know. The If I'm a betting man, probably be that one right there. Well, good. Look, this guy has all the tools. You know, I'm really kind of shocked on how loose that was. Yes, 
Yes. And Does it rotate over there? What, spring tension on it? Like that? Yeah. Looky there. It just slides right out with no, no grease. The tire was in the way. Look. So this right here is going to stay like that. Abracadabra. So this is the chute, which is not a bad chute. I really like uh, their chutes. They're, they're, they're real durable. So now, you can see it's grass, more grass. So... Put this back in here for the time being. And that's your tension right there. Yep. Problem is, you see this right here? Where I have to make the shoot blocker brace right here. Butt up against this. And then a little bit on the other side. I mean, we can't, yeah, I mean, just I'm going to put a small P, yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> to keep the spring tension tight. And maybe, you know, what we also could do yeah. is, well, yeah, because we can deflect this right here like that. Well, if it's up like that, yeah. it's going to have a lot of good tension yeah. on it anyways. So that would make sense. We're just going to put this here because I don't want to lose this. And I got plenty of washers if we need to on this side. I could measure off of that. Uh, it's sitting right there, too. Oh, you know what? Crap. I need to look at that anyway. Yeah. Square tubing. Bingo. So there's our sleeve. As you can see the square tubing is going to be our sleeve. So, um, yeah, I have a paint pen. Do you need it? Uh, probably to mark all this stuff. Oh, it's right here. It's right here by the end. Why my problems? All right. All right. I'll get you to do measurement. Measurements. This is where Kevin's eyeballs come in. I can see. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have someone that knows how to cut a straight line, unlike me. All right, well, I'm measuring to set us up the sawzall with a metal blade, I guess. Or a grinder, if you have. Uh, which one would you rather use? Oh, the grinder would probably be a little faster. Okay. Depending on the blades that you got for the sawzall. Okay. Well, we're going to set you guys up right here. like that so you guys <clears throat> so I got I got some good metal blades right. uh, that's wood. That's so let's let's try this one first it's pretty sharp that'll work and I'll run heat. I got a torch we can heat up to do the bins. So what we're doing here is oh paint pen? Yeah I do. Here hold it. That's a project that I'm working on. The good thing is, I only had to use that heater just one time. Uh, oh, here. Sorry, we're trying to work on this. I can't see the comments. Hopefully there are comments coming around. If there ain't. Paint pen. Oh. Well, disclaimer. Huffing does not kill brain cells. <clears throat> We're gonna make our first incision. Are you, uh, did you measure off that little gap? Is that what you did? Yeah, we're gonna make the first cut for that little gap. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Let me do this. Man, you gotta be smart. Oh, 
I am fingering the hole. Oh, 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 Chris, oh, Chris, oh, Chris. Feels good, feels good, feels good. Come on, you guys gotta be funny. Oh, how many people are watching? Uh, I think we have three. Three? Holy yeah. Jesus. So, this is my uh, uh, press vice clamp making tool. The press vice clamp making tool. This is, since I don't got a table or a workbench, this has become my workbench. God dang. Sure does take a while when you're fingering the hole. That's what she says. Now I won't go nowhere. Now we're safe. Now we're safe. You know, safety first. Charm. There you go. I got a grinder if we need to. I got files that we can file off the edges Probably as well. Oh. What a round, flat, square, or what? Yeah. Will that one work or not? Yep. Pretty nifty. And all this this metal that we have costs forty dollars. And metal. Um, we were shooting for 20, didn't work out, but there's no bolts required. You're not bolting anything down. Everything's going to be in its factory setting, you know, just a little bit of welding. And uh, we'll um, go as we improvise if we need to. I say no bolts right now, but you never know what the future brings. And be like, oh man, I forgot that. <clears throat> Is that one right on the money? Yep. Eight. Eight. So I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I know, um, you know, I, I was at home with Rona. Yeah. That was fun. Spent my Christmas at home. Eight inches. What's she saying? Second in, yeah. You know. Gotta be an overachiever in life. Right. We thought about doing round stock, but Ace Hardware didn't have the round stock we needed. So we went with square, which even benefits us because you can weld. What we could do is just cut the incision around the spring on that two inch plate, you know, and run that up there and weld it, you know. There we have it. So now, so up like 
Like that, and then be in the sleeve. So this is gonna be. So we take that out. And we can slide it in there. Yep. So. They still roam free, really. And what we can do is get the plate. We've got a weld right here, and then cut out the incision to right there. Or, actually, we don't have to because we can run the plate straight across. We burn, actually. We'll have, to, we'll have to cut a little indention, just a little trim piece. Actually, we'll run the plate straight across, but we might have to extend this, some of these off of it. Because that anger already might not be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, That'll work though, still. Yeah. Yeah, those still rotate onto it. And it may, uh, when the pressure of the spring hits it, it's going to tighten it down to where it's not oh, so yeah, slop and stuff. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Right. Now we've cut that. All right. So, as you can see, we're making this as about as simple as possible. And I know this, that's, uh, um, I'll talk a little bit about this right here. This is that 400 Grizzly that I have stripped completely down because I have to do a lot of work to it. And I got some videos I've been filming. I just haven't edited and just haven't been uh, up to par. We, we thought we would uh, film this to kind of give everybody an idea or go live because I've never been live and I want to go live. How many people's watching? We have two. Two, uh, one drop down. Sorry, lost that person. How sad. What's the, is there comments? Uh, usually they'll appear, but it'll be right there in a little box. Hmm. Don't know how to do this much. Is that what we're going with? Yep. Yeah. Cut my angle. I am shocked that that little tool cuts. It's actually held its own. Yeah, I'm man, I tell you it. what. <laughs> I have a bigger sawzall yeah. that's plug in, but I'm like, I am just at awe that that is actually. The portable stuff really nowadays is really done it. Yeah, we're going to have to put us, I think, from the side, let it come up. Well, wait, place. wait, wait. Don't have to because. Oh, is that is that is that flat piece exactly the exact size we need all the way for? Dang. Well, it's a little over. Remember, it's eight ticks, but it ain't gonna. But I mean, a little over is fine. I yeah. mean, but but it's exactly six. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to put us some stock. Some of this coming over. Oh wait. <clears throat> Think about this. I do have this. I mean, you could try to weld it. And it's aluminum, but I don't know. Cut it in strips going across. If you turn the heat down or something on it, maybe it'll stick to it. What about you? Or if you want to use the angle, that's fine. That's I don't care. Because that'll give us a little bit more stability. Right. Because I can do three pieces. Yeah. Let me, let me look at this. Just kind of. So this is uh kind of what we got. We're we're 
we're making this as we're going, guys. So this thing is something we, we plotted it out to the best we could. But now it's, you know, this is what we're going to do. You need me to hold it? Oh, uh, yeah. Where are at? Cut it out there. We go right there where your finger is. Oh. Where your finger. There, I got it. Oh. You trying to square it? I'm pretty sure it'd be what two and a half all the way down. So if you need to, if I, I can get my, I can get my plug-in saws off. We need to eventually. This is actually doing, doing what it's supposed to be doing. All right, guys. Still got two people, or down to one? We're up to three. We're up to three now, man. I feel famous. <laughs> three people. I'm about to shed this jacket because it's yeah, nice and warm it's, it's in here. Yeah, it's getting warm. It was chilly in here, and then I kicked the heat on. And now, what we're doing, guys, is we're cutting two, two, two and a half. Is that what two you're going? Two and a half cuts on three little pieces, so we can make cross members to go across to link up the square tubing to the angle for our uh, initial transition plate, is what I call it, so we can put the actual flat stock on it. So this way this is going to work guys is that it's going to come over here to this and it's going to link up the square tubing to the angle. You know, we're going to have it. Huh? To the side? Yeah, this one. And on top of that one. So go, go like that. Just like that, yeah. So that's why it's going to lean and it's going to go on top of this other one like that. And that's how it's going to this plate right here is what we're putting the crap. You know that, that piece of flat stock? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put it on the inside of this because I don't want to weld on the outside because you're gonna have a lip. You're gonna have a gap and air gap right here. You know what I'm saying? That's what we could do. Uh, I'm leaving us enough room for uh, like that. Oh, okay. That way it'll flex to that. So, now piece number two. so crazy that that little thing that little old battery powered deal is it's doing the trick. It is, and that's, I'm, I'm shocked it's doing the trick. 
Have we made past three? Uh, uh, yeah. No, I'm talking about people. We're two people. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. I know this ain't the funnest thing, but it's fun. It's fun for us. This is my tire rack I built, if any of you guys want to see, out of wood. So we got that, that, and that. So this is this is what I'm on this right here. So this in, this inside plate, we'll weld it where it's on the inside of this angle. Yeah. So it goes right up against that right there. Because if we had it on the outside, it would be a gap right here all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, either way, we can weld all this first and then weld that last. Probably do that first so I can do the inside. And then all this other shit's just top. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> We're going to have to, you're going to have to mark it. Uh, so we'll lay it all out. Yeah. Where it's going to have to hit. So guys, what we're doing is marking our where things are going to line up in correlation to that flat plate. And then, uh, then the flat plate. The last thing we'll do would be the handle. That's going to be the very, very last because we got to make sure where everything settles at to where we put the handle to when we're lifting it up. Yeah, that's the coverage I want because it's going, it's it's hitting all all the way, like. Bingo. That's what we're doing. That's us. Then, uh, now we're gonna take a slight little break and set up a welder. Yeah, so we're gonna set up a welder and gotta do some welding. Probably gonna have you weld. I'll move this heat heater right here so you get where the light is. Yeah, because you know, yeah, yeah, arcing yeah. like that. And then, um, and then I can we can plug the welder in right there after these messages. So, guys, uh, back. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go live in a little bit later on. I just wanted to test the theory out on how this is working. So obviously it's working all right. So we'll come back live when we do the, um, the, so the kind of the fish product or when we got everything welded? Uh, we might do a little welder. Welder action? Yeah. Okay. I'll we'll come back live here in about 10, 20 minutes. All right. So the four of you watching, stay tuned. Yeah, we'll come back. After this message. Peace, my blindies. We'll be right back. And Out of here. How do you end it now? Uh, you go. Look, bitches. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna see.
Are you sure you want to stop streaming? 